My training maybe didn't change too much, like maybe some little tweaks here and there, but um, I think the biggest part is just trying to feel as good as possible um, throughout the summer and um, you know, just being healthy, feeling good out, out on the ice um, and once camp kind of starts picking back up. So you know, I just try to take it as it goes. I mean, I never really like to put numbers in my head. I think it's as long as I'm playing well and um, you know, helping the team win and, and and we're playing well as a team and everything, like it doesn't matter how many goals I score, I think um, as long as all those things are happening and, and we're doing the right things to, to help the team win, whether I score 20 goals or 100 goals, as long as you know those things are kind of lining and it's fine with me. You know, obviously it's, you know, it doesn't matter what you do in the regular season, it doesn't matter what you do in the regular season, but like it does, like you gotta put yourself in a good position come playoff time and you gotta make it to the playoffs too. And we've got a pretty competitive division. Um, you know, teams that are getting better as well. So, um, you know, I think the regular season does obviously matter, and we want to put ourselves and be building the right habits and doing the right things come that time of year. You know, this group has lost, you know, together, and it truly does make you want to win together that much more. Um, you know, I know it's kind of a cliche, you got to go through certain things in order to be successful, but but I think that's that's what we really felt after we lost is that, you know, we're going to come out on the other end, we're going to be stronger, it's going to make it, you know, that much more special, blah, blah, blah. But I think it's a, it, it, it's, it's a real vote of confidence to, to keep our, our, our group together because there's belief there that we have people in, in, in a place where we can succeed. As a player on this team right now, um, it's a great spot to be. You, you know, I, I feel extremely confident with the people we have and, uh, you know, the work that's been done during the off season. And I, I think we're in a, in, in a position to, to have success. I mean, I think every year the expectations are supposed to rise. And, and, and I think for our group, um, that's no different. I think that, you know, you know, pressure, you know, whether there's more pressure, like, from who, I, I don't know. I think internally within the group, the expectation is, is greater. And, and, and what we want to achieve is... is, is more of the same but you know there it, it's time it's time to do it and I think it's I mean it's kind of been like that now for a while and I, I hope that you know when you're playing for a good team those expectations will always be there and, and, and that's a good thing we're not going to give up we're not going to quit and I, I think we understand that you know that's our only option um, it, it's just to keep working at it and you know again is it a cliche to say you know once you break through you can have long-term success maybe but I think that's what we're we're working towards we want to get over our, our you know our our hump of the first round and then and then start rolling and, and, and in order to do that we got to stick with it we got to be resilient we got to work harder and um, you know I can all, all our players are, are, are bought in and we're not going to give up and we're not going to quit on this process and we're just going to keep working